Testing one, two, let me know if you hear that. Hear me and see me, everybody? Good afternoon. Okie doke. I'll, I'm right here. And welcome. This is Online at Trader Central. Melissa Armo is your host and presenter today. It looks like it's time to begin. Let me uh, round up the percussion section. Drummers, are you ready? Drummers. Okay, and now please do the trumpet. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to begin. Please put your hands together and welcome our host and presenter today from the stocksquish.com. <laughs> today. <laughs> I'm excited to be here. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you for coming and thank you, Online Trader Central, for having me. My name is Melissa Armo and I own a company called The Stock Swoosh. And I'm here today to talk about trading the U.S. market and specifically trading the market for a living using one strategy. And I trade the market for a living and I only use one strategy. It's all that I've ever done, actually, and I've really honed down how to do this one thing. And I think it's very important if you want to trade for a living to be very, very thoughtful and have a plan of action for what you're doing in the market because you're risking money when you trade. Whether you day trade or invest, even if it's long term, you have to be thoughtful about what you're doing. So welcome. If you'd like more information, you can email me after the webinar at melissaatthestockswish.com. And you can also follow me at Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, Pinterest, or Skype. So if you've been thinking about maybe changing careers because you want to make more money, maybe you want to start making six figures a year, maybe you're not making it, or maybe you want to just have something where you have an unlimited income potential. One of the reasons that I decided to day trade is I wanted to have a job where I made over six figures because I had a job at that time. I was doing mortgages and I was making that much and I wanted to be able to have an unlimited potential. And at the time that I got out of the mortgage industry, it was, it was changing, it was changing a lot. And so I felt I needed a career change. So training is one of these things because there's so much money in the market that there really is an unlimited amount of income potential. And if you live in a different country, half my clients actually do live outside of the US, know that you can trade the US market. If you've never thought about doing it, you can think about it, it's possible. You don't have to live in the US to trade in the US. Okay, the market is open U.S. Uh, Eastern Time Zone, 9.30 to 4 o'clock Eastern Time, but I only trade the morning. So depending on where you are, you can think about what time that is for you. But the U.S. markets offer a lot of volatility and momentum, and that's how you make money as a day trader. Now, today's a good example. Okay, the market had a lot of volatility in it today, and that's going to continue throughout this year. That means opportunity for you to make money. And if you've already are a trader, and you've been trading or trying to figure trading out or how to make money in the market, maybe you're not being successful doing it and not making money or enough because you don't have a strategy that really can give you the correct risk to reward. Risk to reward means that for every dollar you risk, you want to have a payoff that's worth it. 
For example, if you risk a dollar and only make 20 cents, that's not a good risk to reward. What if you risked a dollar and made a dollar? Well, that's okay, not great. If you risk a dollar and make three dollars, that's much, much better, okay? So you, I'm looking for something when I take a trade to risk a dollar and make three. And if you're one of these people that have been back and forth for the last, you know, five, six, seven, eight, ten years trading but not consistently making money, that it might be that you just don't have the correct strategy. And a lot of people at this time of the year, they're thinking about, gosh, they owe money in taxes or they, they, they are thinking about their goals for the year and how can they make more money in 2016? How can they get ahead? Maybe they looked at how much money they made last year and realized they didn't make enough and they want to make more. And you're thinking about this for your family or where you want to be. Or maybe you're at a certain age in your life and you feel frustrated like you should be farther along right now. These are all very important things to think about. It's still very early in the year. You can set goals for yourself and still achieve them. And, and the number one thing I think it's good, a, a good reason to think about day trading is that really it has the potential to be a career. And I only trade usually between a half an hour and an hour a day. So that is a very short time frame to trade to do something for a career. When I did mortgages, I would work seven days a week. Seven days a week and sometimes 10, 12 hours a day. And now I work like one fifth of that, 1% of that actually. It's amazing. So it's, it's not about quantity, it's about quality in reference to trading. But trading successfully and consistently is really about, number one, having a specific plan. What trade are you gonna take and why? You need a system that you use daily you over and over again so you get good at it and you trade that consistently and you don't deviate and you don't do anything else, okay? And then you need a monetary goal that you wanna make each day, 100, 200, 300, 1,000 dollars, whatever you want, you have to have a certain amount that you're looking to make every day. You gotta know what your goals are. And then you need a reason why you're taking every trade that you're taking. Does it fit the criteria? If it doesn't, then guess what? You don't take it. And then also you need a target or stop placement for when you will get out of a trade because you can't risk an unlimited amount in every trade you take. That isn't what I would call a planned action. So if you're here today, you may be here to learn more about my strategy and maybe learning about this thing that I do will unlock the keys to your success. And it's just one thing. It's not overly complicated where you have to learn a million different things or buy all kinds of different indicators or special software. It's very, very simple once you learn how to do it. And it's just one strategy and it's called golden gaps. So golden gap trading is where the real money moves and momentum of the market take hold. Why? Because they have momentum and the market actually gapped down today. As I was saying, today is an example because the QQQs and the SPY indexes gapped down today in the market and that had volatility momentum. So you could have rated the gap down to the market. Now I'll show you in a chart in a minute what a gap is if you don't know, I'll explain it to you. But it's, it's something that can offer you a career because gaps happen all the time in the market, all the time, all year long, every day, every week. And then they also have momentum. If a stock moves a dollar and you're short it and you have a thousand shares and you short it at the right place, you can make a thousand dollars. If you're buying a stock and you buy it at the right place and it rallies a dollar and you have 5,000 shares, you can make $5,000, okay? That's what I mean by momentum. It's momentum in the move. The move the stock makes from the entry point to your exit, which is something that I call the target. Now, what is a golden gap? And this is something that I created and invented and defined. A golden gap is a gap that moves in the direction of the gap. So in reference to a stock gapping down, I'd be looking to short it. Not every one, but it has to meet my criteria. And I explain to you what this is. It is called a golden gap because institutional money, along with professional traders and investors, are making the gap and creating the gap. And therefore, it will follow through. So then I'm looking to short the gap downs. Okay? In the case of a bullish gap, institutional money is buying the stock. Therefore, the stock moves higher in the trading day. It's getting bought by institutions. What do I mean by institutions? Banks, hedge funds. Big, big money in the market. In the case of a bearish gap, institutional money is selling or shorting the stock. Therefore, the stock moves lower on the trading day. And you would want to be short the stock then. Okay? So I named my system the Golden Gap 26-point rating system because I'm looking for a gap that has a specific criteria. It must meet that criteria for me to do it. 
It's a 26 point criteria and I'm looking at the daily chart. If I find that criteria, it gives me a high odds that that gap, that stock, will be something that can go long or short in the day in the direction of the gap and not only that, have a large momentum move. And I take the position and I'm looking for the target. I don't have to have a perfect score. I don't have to have 26 points, but I have, I have to have 20. I have to have 20 or more, okay? Obviously, if something rates 24, 25, 23, that's better than 20. So the higher it is, the better it is. Do I get more than one of these in the day? Some days, yes. Some days you get five, six, 10. You can do them all. Per, per, personally, I like to do one per day, but there are days that I do two trades. And ultimately, it's about high probability because if you are going to do this and you are seriously going to do this for a career, then you have to be so careful about what you're doing. And I say you don't want to waste your bullets, okay? Because you can't just take pot shots at stuff and say, well, it's only $200. Well, it's only $500. And all of a sudden, you're down in two trades, $1,000 in a day. There wasn't anything to do. You don't want to do that. You want to look for the quality because the quality ones are the ones that go and run and have big moves and can make you five times the amount you risk or 10, okay? So my system gives you an edge in the market because it hones in and, and hones in on the probability. And, and 26 points is a lot of detail to tell you this is good, this is good, this is good. And it's like you're telling it up and you're totaling it up and it's building the conviction. And it really only takes about five to 10 minutes to rate one gap or stock pick. And for me, it takes less than five. I've been doing this now for eight years. And if, you, if you're if you doing it for a couple of months, it'll take, you less even, it'll take you less than five minutes too. But the crux of why my system is so great to make money consistently is because the gaps that I am trading the, the bearish gaps that gap down I'm shorting and the bullish gaps I'm going long when I take a long if something gaps up is made with institutional money. And I am more convinced than ever now after trading for eight years and running a business for three and talking to so many people that the only way to consistently make money as a day trader or any long-term trader in the U.S. stock market and probably any market that exists is if you are you have to be with the institutional money whether it's for the day or the long term it depends on the time frame of your position but you will not make money consistently over the course of your life unless you know how to read this and i have become an expert in reading this and the reason is that gaps are actually an event that happens in a chart in a day chart of a stock it's actually in every chart but i focus on the day chart and the formula i have tells me that an institution is making it and therefore, an action is being forced by participants of that stock. This is why it's powerful, because if something gaps down, it may force people to sell out. For example, something happened with China today. Futures were down, market opened down in the day, and the market sold off into the day. Now, you could have rated the market gap today, and you might have shorted the market today. But that's how you make money. You look for the institutional move in it. Now, I'm going to give you an example. You may not understand anything that I'm going to say right now at all, but I want you to pretend that you do, okay, and ask questions if you don't, because I'm going to talk about something very, 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 very important, something that I got extremely excited about when I saw it, because I know how to read institutional money in a, in a chart in the form of price action and candlesticks, which I do every day. I'm very good at reading price action, but I recently started to do options. Same strategy, but I'm also doing it for options. This is an option chain. Now, I, it doesn't matter if you don't know what to, how to look at this. I'm going to tell you what you're looking at here. So just listen to me, okay? This is real. This is an option chain. This, is, this number here is 42,913. It's 42,913. What does that mean? It's 42,913 contracts. Okay, this is actually, if I would equate this to shares, is 4.2 million. This is in the SPY, okay, SPY index. Does everyone see that? Strike price of this is 210. Look, do you see that? Cost of the position on this day was 22, 30, 36, 38, okay? Now, just go with me here. Take your calculators. I want you to take 42913 times, you can use the X sign here, you're multiplying it by 2238. Somebody, quickly, 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 tell, much, tell me how much that totals. Here, I don't know why that plopped that up there. 
Somebody tell me, somebody's got to have a calculator next to them besides me. It's, it's glued to my hip. But does anyone have a calculator to tell me what does that total? What is the total? Come on. Work with me here, people. Be interactive. I'm not talking to myself. There's a lot of you here. I must be talking to myself. No one's answering me. No one has a calculator, knows how to figure that out. Take 42,913 times 22.38. I don't, I want you to tell me. Rob just said 96 million. Rob, Rob gets a gold star today. What do you think that is? Do you think that that's me or not? Do you think that that's me or you or all of us here? No way, no way. 96 million, that means the cost to take that position I don't even know if that's exactly right, but it's close. It's over 90 million. The point is the cost is a lot. Do you understand me? In fact, let's just figure it out. Exactly, 42913 times 2238. Yeah, it's, not, it's a little over 96 million. You can't see the charts? Trend trader can't see the charts. Can everyone see my PowerPoint? I have a PowerPoint out right now, not the charts. Can everybody see it? Here, I'll click on and off it very quickly for Trend Trader. Now, let me tell you something, people. This is a true story. And then I'm going to go on with the webinar. I was in this by long before I saw the posi this position. I was already in it long. And I've been calling it long before this position I even saw it. There we go. Anita wrote it in the room. Now, what do you think? There's something else about this I may not have time to tell you today. If I do, I'll tell you at the end. But I, I want to make my point. My point is that is an institutional position that is in the market long. Okay? You have to learn how to read what's happening with institutions in order to trade for a living. And what I found most amazing is the fact that I was already in the market long and already saw that before that position was in there. So I saw the money in the chart from rating my gaps to the market before that plopper, that whopper of a position got in there. Because obviously the money's already in there. It's just another position in there. But that gave me the confirmation. Do you understand? And, and it just continues to confirm as every year I train and the more people I teach, how special, what I know is, and, and, and you don't even need to look at that and understand that. You just learned my rating system and day trade based on the 26-point rating system and do it and make money. But I'm telling you, that was an amazing thing I saw in there because it gave me confirmation of everything I know, which is in my rating system, which I see every day in the gaps. You've got to learn what to look at. Everyone's looking at the same thing. Why do some people get it right and some people get it wrong? Why do some people make a lot of money and some people lose? And we're all looking at the same thing. Because if I didn't go over what I know about this, which, which I did tell you a little bit, but there's more to it. But the bottom line is, you, you might have looked at that and had no clue. You might have been like, la, 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 la. Or you might not even looked at it, okay? The point is, we all could look at the same thing, but we all don't interpret it the same way. We, we all don't interpret it the same way. The interpretation, which is my 26-point rating system, is what tells me that this is good. Go long it, short it, sell it, do it. Don't do it. Maybe there's not a good one because if something rates at 15 points, then I'm not, I'm not doing it at all, okay? Does this make sense? Does anything I'm saying even remotely make sense? You need real visible income for profits, but how do you get that? You got to see the trade and you have to see the momentum of the trade before it happens because if it's if you see it after the fact then it's too late then 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 it then it doesn't matter anymore okay and that's one of the things that's so amazing about my ability to see this with the market because because the fact is the market's been over you know up and down and squiggly and gap down today okay and you got to know how to read it now let's go talk about some specific stocks because each day I get up in the morning and I'm looking for a chart. Now, for those of you that don't know what a gap is, this is Mew. This was over the holiday week. Mew had earnings. The stock closed one night and then opened the next day at a different price. That's all that a gap is. Now, how do you find Mew? On a scanner in your platform or you could buy a scanner, but actually I just use my platform. So I saw the Mew. And I saw the Mew gapping down. Then I get up in the morning and I rate the Mew. This is a day chart of Mew. This did not have a big move in the day. It went to the first target and was done. And luckily I got out. 
but it actually was did not have a monster move but i knew what the target was but this was like the day before the christmas eve that was one of the reasons it was low volume in the market the week of the christmas holiday and last week so you had to take dinky targets and things but it is getting into earnings season now in the next two weeks so things will start to really get underway and get play in them but this was still a good gap and it was a short and i shorted the tail this taily thing i shorted and got out at the target so what did i do here's a one minute chart i took the trade i shorted the stock it dropped i'm out and that's it i literally was in the trade and out of the trade in less than half an hour that's it my day is done okay the price of the short was 13.74 stop was over 13.86 and yes i do use stops risk is 12 cents on 7,000 shares, I risked $840. Okay? Exit is $13.57. So, what does this mean? Profit is $1,332.16 in the trade. Risk to reward is 1.59 times the amount risk made in profit. So, this was one where I made more than one risk unit, but I had to get out because it went to the target. Here's the money I made in this trade. Now let's go back and look at it. So again, I'm a day trader. I look at the daily chart. I determine mu is a gap that rates more than 20 points. So I can take it in the direction of the gap as a short. I wait for the setup. I wait for the open. It opens at 930. Okay, I wait for the setup. And I teach us in the class, I take the short, put in the stop, boom, and I know where the targets are in amount. And that's it. Okay? So you get a couple ones like this a week. You're making 1,000, 1,300, 800, 2,000, whatever your risk depends on how much you make for the sizing, okay? But this is how you pull together real money that you can use to pay your bills. I mean, honestly, $1,000 a day is, you know, $5,000 a week. I don't know how much money you need to pay yourself or earn a living, but the reality is that that's a good amount of money to make. Even if you made $500 a day, that ends up being $2,500 a week. That's a good amount of money to earn a living, okay? So one quality strategy is important because that's all you need. You only need one strategy, you only need one trade, you only need one stop, you only need one entry, you only need one target. You only need one. And sometimes you only need one really good trade a week in order to actually put you over the edge with your numbers. For example, what if mu, okay, it didn't. This is a good example here, I'm just gonna go back. Dream target on this for the day was 13, okay? Price of the entry, let's just say I had made, gotten this to the dream target. It didn't do it, I had the exit signs, it, it bounced at the first target. But let's just say this had gone the full amount. So 75 cents times 7,000 shares, I would have made 52.50 the day before Christmas Eve. It didn't do it, I had a good day, but really all you need is one like this to go, even in a week's time, to go to the big number. And you see how good it is then because I only risked 800 some dollars. And if I, if it had gone to the target of 13, the dream target, then it would have made over five grand. And I wouldn't even have to take another trade the rest of the week. So, it, you know, you, you, this is, this is, it's all about the focus, the focus, the focus, the focus. All right. Now, does anyone have any questions about anything I'm talking about at all so far? Anything at all? All right, I'm gonna keep going. Ask me questions in here. I can see everyone's questions in the room. So what do you need to get started? You need the money from my class. My class is $39.99. If you want to learn my method that's what it costs I'll go over this at the end you also need a positive attitude that you believe you can do it and be successful even if you failed in the past 
I know this sounds like something like, well, obviously everyone has to be positive. No, 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 you really have to be positive. Sometimes what has happened is if you've been trying to do this for a long time, and, and I, I don't know if some of you have been or not, but if you've been beat over, beat over the head by the market and, you're, and your attitude is, is really crappy, you've got to get that on right. And, and I'm telling you, it, it matters. It's, it's, it, it's important. You need a live trading account to take equity day trades and stocks. If you want to do it live, you need an account. And you need time between 9.30 and 10 a.m. in the morning to trade because I'm usually getting in the positions every day between 9.30 and 10. If somebody doesn't set up by 10, I'm not doing it. You also need a computer with an internet connection. You, everything is online but you've got to have a computer and an internet connection and a live account, okay? Now we have a, we have a question here. Um, how do I determine my targets? Anita, I teach that in the class. It will be more than a one hour discussion here and we only have a half an hour left. But you can determine targets beforehand. I do two things. One, I figure out and calculate the targets before 9.30 before the stock even sets up and trades out, I'm estimating the open based on the gap. I figure out all my targets before the open. And then I also have what I call exit signs, okay? So that if something doesn't go to the first target or, or, or even past the first target, I have an exit sign that may tell me, take the whole thing off, that's it for the day, or take at least half off, Melissa, so that if the rest trails on break even or up a little, okay? You have to have both. I have targets and exit signs. How fast of a connection do you need for the internet? Well, I have, I have Fios and I have the highest speed I can have in it, but I mean, you don't have to have that. I, I, I would be careful in a wireless. Could you do it? Yes, I don't know what the delay is. It could be a couple seconds, but I don't think it's gonna make that much of a difference even if you have wireless. I, I have a hard hard computer internet connection, but you it you'd have to test it out. I guess I don't I don't really know. I know people are trading with me that have wireless and some on on computers into the wall. So my class is two full days, but you can practice on a demo for a week before you open the live account. Then you can open the live account. Then you begin trading small lots. And then after one to two weeks of doing it with small lots, you can increase your size. You're gradually increasing your size each week, you should get to the point where you're actively trading and making money. And then you can have some comma days. What's a comma day? A thousand dollars or more. Anything with a comma in the number of the profit is what I call a comma day. I think it's fine for people to trade actually and risk hundred dollars at the beginning. If you can prove that you can make hundred dollars a day all right just listen to me which is five hundred dollars a week say you trade for a month and you make two grand for those of you that have been trading and losing two grand in one month is amazing if you've never traded before it's still an extra two thousand dollars and that'll prove to you that number one you can do it you can make money in the market and number two that all you have to do is increase your risk and therefore you'll make more so the next month you could risk 200 or you can make 200 a day 200 a day and all of a sudden you're making 4,000 a month. 4,000 a month is almost 50 grand a year. So you really have to be thoughtful about getting good. It's all about getting good. It's not just about the money. It's about getting good because the money can come because as soon as you prove that you know what you're doing and you're good, you can up it. I mean, this is how I've gotten to the point where I'm risking what I'm risking, which is a thousand, usually a thousand, a thousand between 1,500 of my days. But you know, you really can't just go into this and say whatever you have to have a thoughtful plan of action okay you can open up an account with any retail broker or proprietary day trading place either way any place you open an account you have to be able to actively day trade you can email me mike directly and i can refer you to some places so where do you see yourself in maybe one year five years if you did not make the money you wanted to in 2015, you might want to think about trading, even if you love your career, because you only have to do this for a half an hour a day. You could do this and still keep your regular job. And it's a good thing you could do even after you retire. Okay? And if you really want to make 
several hundred thousand dollars a year as a day trader. The idea of getting to the point where you invest money in a class and time in your life to really learn it and get good, to be able to know that you'll be at that point, whether it's one year or five years out to make several hundred thousand dollars a year, it's, it's worth it. The problem is that many, many people do not have this scope of thought in their mind to think out that far. We live in a me, 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 now, now society. Everyone wants everything now. I know this because I was like this when I was trading. I was like this years ago. And, and, and I'm still like this every once in a while now where I want to, I have no patience and I want to take the trade right away and then, then it doesn't set up or whatever and I give up on it and go on to something else. But at the end of the day, you have to look at this as something new you're learning. You don't know anything about it. And you have to be patient with yourself and give yourself a chance, okay? Uh, let me see. I have some questions here. You have never traded stocks, only options for six months. Will it be difficult to make the transition? No, I don't think it will be difficult to make the transition, Anita. And also, you can use the 26-point rating system to choose what stock to take the option in. So you would look, do the class. You could still keep doing options. You would, you would do the option pick of the stock of the option based on my rating system. Keep doing the options, but also then you can begin to do the day trades too. Okay. Mike is asking me what percentage of trades are profitable of my trades. Again, I usually do one a day. Every once in a while, I'll do two a day. I would say to be conservative, my win ratio is between 70 and 80%. I actually don't lose on that many trades. I don't take that many trades. You would have to not listen to anything I say and be completely crazy in order to lose money in the room with me because I don't even call them any trades that I don't even do. If you're doing exactly what I'm doing, you will be profitable and make money. I do not over trade. I'm not even what people would consider active. The broker is not making a million dollars off of my commissions except for the size that I'm taking. I'm not in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. That's the kind of thing that really adds up and can really eat into your account of the cost of trading. I take one position, I put the stop, I might get out of half and then let the rest right onto the target. If I get stopped out, I may take another trade that day or be done. It's, I just don't take that many trades. So if you're taking less trades, you're losing less just as a result of that. And then if your winners make more than one R, you're up. Do you understand? But it really is about relying on yourself and, and getting to a point where you realize that your life is your own creation and that you can do this. And that's why I'm saying to think positive about it. Sometimes what happens is hard knocks have hit upon people and they're not positive at all and then they've lost faith and hope that they can do anything. I'm telling you, you've got to open up your eyes with possibilities at seeing you could create something new for yourself in your life, even if it's a brand new career. Nobody thinks that they're going to not be at their job forever. If you like your job and you're making a lot of good money, you want to say, well, I'll just stay here forever. But that doesn't always happen. It doesn't always play out that way. And, and that's why, you know, I think it's a good idea to learn something like this just to have something else extra to lean on to make money. And if you don't have the pressure of doing this as a full-time career right now, you can learn it while you're making the move and transitioning, Okay. So again, the system I use, I created, it's just a checklist. You go through it in the morning and check everything off in the boxes and do it. And the philosophy behind the system is that I'm looking for analyzing the daily chart, a large time frame to make the trend decisions on the directional bias for the gap. I'm shorting down gaps and I'm buying up gaps. You cannot short every down gap and you cannot buy every up gap. I rate them based on the criteria of the 26 point system. All large traders of every kind look at large time frames to make decisions, particularly institutional traders. So to make entry decisions and exit decisions based on a small time frame, I, on the one minute chart is how I take my actual entries, and that has a high degree of focus and accuracy. So I use a daily chart to make the decision for the stock pick. That allows for the accuracy and the directional bias of what the institution is doing. And then I use the one minute chart to take the entry and put the stop. This allows for me to take size in the trade, which is that's how I'm getting the good risk to reward with accuracy. And then out at the number, the target, or an exit sign. Okay. Now let's go over Alta. This I'm showing you because it's actually a long. I don't do longs every single solitary day, but this was a good bullish gap. This is back at the beginning of December, December 4th. The stock closed here the night before and then gapped up. Stock gapped up $10 overnight and rallied $10 over day. Okay, it was a beautiful, beautiful gap. Anyways, this was a good long. 
So here's the one minute chart of Alta. You could have gone long the stock as an intraday day trade. I actually did it as an option trade. So Anita was asking about options. I did it as an option trade. So I had 20 contracts. Strike price was 185. Total profit I made was almost $4,800. Okay, I made $4,750. It was a 4.8 time the amount risk was made in profit. So here's the money I made in this trade. Now this was an option. It was basically 2,000 shares. So this is a way to do it where actually you don't have to have the buying power to do this in something like this. Because of 2,000 shares of Alta, you would have needed you know, over 360 some thousand in buying power. And then if you wanted to do anything else on the day, you would have needed even more, okay? So this was a good long as an option. And you could have gone long this as an option and you also could have day traded the stock long. Okay? So here, Anita, you could have done the option and you could have day traded it long. So let's look and see what happened. Well, what if you wanted to actually go long it too or on top of the other one? So if you wanted to, you could have gone long it as a day trade. The price of the entry was 176.50. The stock was a dollar. Now that's actually really good for the strike price or the uh, cost of the stock. So you would have had to risk a thousand dollars just to take a thousand shares of this. But if you had, you could have made 8,500. You would have had to hold it all the target. The target was 185. That's why I had the strike price at that. Anyways, the risk to reward is 8.5 times the amount risk made in profit. So you could have gone long this stock. This is a day trade now, okay? You would have gone long in here. Here's a long entry, put the stop in. You would have had to ride it up to 185, okay? So you could have done two things in this. You could have actually done the option, which is what I did. You could have gone long the day trade stock, which I didn't do, but you could have. What if you'd done both? Crazy, but if you had risked $2,000 and did both the trades here that you could have done, based on what? Based on the 26 point golden gap rating system, that's how you would have known. I only did one of these, I did the option, but I could have done both. I did a short this day, too, besides the long. But either way, you could have done both in this. So the reality is if you had done just one, again, one, 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 one strategy, two trades and one strategy, one stock, one direction, you could have made over $13,000 in one day in this. I could have done it. I, did, I shorted something in the morning that did the option. I should, have been, I should have done three things that day. Some days you just, you get a lot of things to do. But either way, that is incredible. And it, and it was right there, handed it to me. And I made the money in the option. I just didn't do the day trade because I was in a short. But this was a great, great gap. This was a bullish gap. The stock got bought on the day. This, this stock would never have rallied and made this kind of move. You see the big green bar, unless it was being bought by institutions. You don't get a move like that in anything that's not institutional buying. So it rated well as a bullish stock to go long. Anita is asking about an account size. It depends what broker you go to. If you go to a retail broker and you want to day trade actively, you're going to need 25,000. If you go to a proprietary day trading place, you can open up an account with as little as 2,500. I don't know what type of place you want to go. You can open up an account with a retail brokerage place and not put up 25,000 and just do the options. You could probably open it up with, you know, 500 bucks. You have to call different places and find out. Again, I can refer you to some. You can, you can trade it whatever place you want. Okay. I ended up doing BKS on the day is I shorted this, and then here's the option that I did in the Alta. So I made over $6,100 on the, this day. And I, and I could have done the Alta, other Alta too. So is this enough to make money for a living? The answer is yes. I mean, some people don't make $6,000 in a month. $6,000 a month is 72 grand a year. And I made it in a day. I think I got out of that Alta trade like around the lunch time I, it was somewhere between 11 and 12, 1230 or whatever time I got out of it, okay? And I did the quick short in the morning and got out of the short in the morning where I was up the 1300 in the BKS. And this, I think, even went further. So you, again, it is about the quality, the quality, the quality, the quality, the quality. You need the focus. You've got to know what to look for, 
Okay. Now, everyone's been talking about the market. Last week, the market actually gapped up. It had a beautiful gap up. This was the 30th. No, it was the 29th. I'm sorry. This is December 29th. Here's where the QQQs closed. Here's where they opened. So the market gapped up. You could have rated the market. You could have done the SPY or the QQQs this day. And actually, a lot of stocks rallied this day with the market and gapped up. You rate the gap, determine if you, it's a good long. And if it is, you go long it. You could have gone long aggressively this right out of the open. Okay? This was a beautiful trait. And it went up to the target. And it was a nice, nice move. Why? It was a golden gap. They're rated 20 points or more per my 26-point rating system. Why? It got bought. It got bought with institutional money. You could have entered the stock at 113.25. You're going long now, okay? Stop is 112.90. Risk is 35 cents. It's the difference between the entry and the stop. This is where you're getting your sizing for the correct risk to reward. So if you wanted to take 3,000 shares and risk 1,000 bucks, 1,050, if you did that, you could have exited this at 114.25. This was the target. This really was the final target on the day. And it was a dollar. Again, the idea of momentum. You're looking for momentum, momentum, momentum. Okay. Total profit, 3,000. Risk to reward, three times the amount risk was made in profit. So this is a, this is a good one. Because you risked 1,000 and made a, a 3,000. What if you risked 500? You would have made 1,500. You made three times the amount you risked, no matter what you risk. If you had risked uh, 200, you would have made 600. If you had risked 1,000, you would have made 3,000. It's the idea that it is the risk to reward. You risk 35 cents, you made a buck. Okay? And this is how you figure it out. And again, is $3,000 enough to make a living? Yes, it is. And even if you divide that by three, it certainly, certainly is. So the golden gap strategy that I teach and trade, it consistently directs you to the power source in a stock to determine the correct directional bias because that's how you make money. And not only the correct directional bias, but whether or not you're going to get any momentum because the way that you get the moves like a dollar or even $10 in Alta is momentum. It's money. It's serious, serious money that's either selling the stock or buying the stock that moves it up, okay? So the Golden Gap strategy uses a rating system which pinpoints opportunity for you to enter before the big move happens. And that's what you want to do. Now, people are asking how much do you risk? Well, it depends how much you want to make. But if your goal is to maybe make six figures a year, if you think that's what you want to do, you need to have at least a 250 $300 risk unit. If you're really good, you could have it be 200, okay? And if you want to make 200, 250 grand a year, that risk unit needs to be at least around 500 or more, okay? But th you, this, is, this is very reasonable, but you have to prove that you can do it through learning it first. Because even if you can make 50 grand, that's a good amount of money if you're only trading for half an hour. Just to break it out, because I think you have to back it off with what your goals are. And, and this is how you do it. You're like, well, how much do I actually risk? If, and how much should my goals be? Because remember, you have to have the plan of action. If your goal is to make 100 some thousand dollars a year, you're, you really are trying to make $500 a day. $500 a day is your goal or $2,500 a week. This is how you got to look at it. What if your goal is to make $78,000 a year? Then you're trying to make $300 a day, $1,500 a week. What does this mean? It means if you're up $300 and the trade starts backing against you and you made your goal for the day, take it. Take it. If your goal for the day is $1,000 and Mew starts backing up against you and it hit the first target, take it. Get out. Okay? Exit sign, first target, goal for the day, out. All right? You're not always trying to get these huge home runs. Now, Alta was one. And sometimes you get them, and, you, and I just say the market just gives it to you. They just plop them in your lap. You'll know because it will just run or sell off hard if you're in a short. But if your goal is in, you take the money. And if you're doing this for a living, you must take the money. You must chunk it out. You must book it. I so we say it's never over to the fat lady sings. You could be up on a train that could go against you, and then you're down. You've got to cash out, okay? And if this is something that you're using to pay your jobs, then you have to cash out when you're up. But again, you need to make quality trades where, where you are up. Many, many times I take a trade, I'm up as soon as I take it. 
sometimes people take trades and they are down before they work out. That is not the way that I train. I think it's a very difficult way to train. I would, I don't think it's a good way to train. All right. But the idea of even doing this part time where you could make, you know, $39,000 a year only making $150 a day is very, very reasonable and not a crazy dream number and for your first couple of months trading or something. This is great. And to be able to make $130,000 a year is extremely good too because you're not even working that hard. So again, where do you start? You take my class to learn my method. It's the only place you're gonna be able to do it. I'm the only place and anywhere. I've invented my own system. It's a 26 point rating system I use to rate gaps. It's called the Golden Gap. Then you practice on a demo for a week, then you open an account. For options, like I said, you need less than $1,000. If you wanna do the equity day training, you can open up a proper firm account with 2,500 and actively day trade. You do not need special software or scanning software. You only need a live moving charts, a live level two with real time quotes for stocks. So you can rate the gaps and then take the actual position. And any broker will have this on their equity platform when you open a live account. So every brokerage account, proper retail, will have, uh, will have moving charts on the platform at a live level too, okay? And once you know how to do this thing, once you know how to make money, you can really set your own course because you could work for yourself. You could go work at a trading desk. You could get a job at a, get a, job at a, at a bank. You could go out and become a stockbroker. I mean, there's just so many things that you could do. So many if you learn how to do this correctly. But, you know, it's, it's just one of these things where it's never over the fat lady sings because you, you have got to book the money when you're up. You have to be thoughtful about what you're doing. You could have a career that you've been doing for years and, and all of a sudden it collapses. And that's really what happened with me with my mortgage job. So I'm talking about experience. Thinking ahead about what do you want to do for your life and yourself to have extra money saving, to earn extra money this calendar year in 2016, to get ahead, to not feel like you're always living paycheck to paycheck is not a bad idea. But if you want to do it for a living, it's, it, this is here. You just have to learn it. Self-reliance is very important. And if personal freedom is one of your goals, then, then day trading is something that can offer you that because you can work from home. So the more often you make money on a consistent basis, the more confidence you will build in yourself and the more conviction you will have in your own ability to trade well. A lot of people don't have confidence in themselves if they've lost money in the market, but it may just be that you don't know what you're doing and you have to learn what you're doing and it's not even you. One of the most valuable things that you learn during the Golden Gap course is to have conviction in the Golden Gap strategy. This conviction will help you produce positive trades and results. And staying positive might be a challenge for some traders, but it is a requirement for success. This is a requirement for success for anyone who wants to earn a high paying income in really any field. So I teach my class, it's called the Golden Gap System. The Golden Gap course teaches a 26 point professional bearish gap rating system. The purpose of the system is to help you evaluate which gap to trade each morning using a checklist. And I just go through all the points every morning, okay? The class teaches a strategy on how to trade only gaps, and that's all that I do. It teaches you how to pick the best one to do every day, the highest rated one, and more than one if you wanna do them. The course also teaches students how to play the stock on the day, meaning you enter and exit it, and the course teaches you tactical analysis on an advanced level, which is how I'm seeing the things that I am like in the market. So it's a complete system. Where are the targets? How do you do the entries? How do you size yourself? How do you pick the stock? How do you rate the gap? Support and resistance, okay? So the class is online. It's a full two-day course on how to strategically find, pick, and play stocks that are professional bearish gaps. Retakes are free. The class is online, and you can do it from anywhere in the world. And if you sign up once, you can retake it anytime in the future for free. Dates are January 9th and 10th from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern time. Cost of the class is $39.99. If you're interested, email me at melissa at the stockswish.com. Now, I'm offering another class. This is just about the stock market. It's January 13th, okay? I'm only doing this. I did do one in December. I'm doing another one in January, but I won't be doing this again this year. So if you want to do this class, it's a one-time only done thing at the beginning of the year to review the market for 2016. It's from noon to four. Cost of this class is $9.99. I'm gonna go over the US stock market for 2016 along with the trading calls and the option calls for the long-term market and the trades I'm already in, and you can do them. And the people that did the class in December are, 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 did the trades with me. I was already in them though. But if you sign up for the GAP class this weekend, you will get that class for free. 
this is a huge savings. So if you do the gap class this weekend, you will get the stock market class for free. Okay, this is a really good deal. Deadline to sign up is January 8th. Savings is $999. You do the class Saturday and Sunday to learn the Golden Gap system to day train. And then you do the stock market class, which is the following Wednesday next week on the 13th from 12 to 4, and you get that for free. And then you get the option calls I'm giving in the market, and you can do them. Now, I also teach a trends class, which talks about longer-term trends. This is until February. This is February 9th and 10th from 12 to 4. This is, talks about reading long-term trends and stock charts. This isn't really for day trading, but it's good if you're doing swing trading, for example. Cost of this class is $9.99. And if you want to sign up for both, the Golden Gap and the Trends class, you get a discount. If you sign up and pay for both, you do the Golden Gap class in January, and then you do the Trends course in February, and you get the Stock Market class for free. This is a savings of almost $1,500, and the cost for this combo is $44.99. This is everything here at once. And you can learn how to day trade the gaps. Then you get the longer term trends. You get the option call and the market outlook for 2016. So I'm offering this to everybody in, in the beginning of the year. Now, Mike has a question. Are any of the prop firms honest? Of course there's honest prop firms out there. That's like somebody asked me uh, uh, something else the other day about honesty in reference to educators. There's honest people that exist in the world. Don't be so cynical that you don't think there's any honest prop firms or educators or mentors. At the same time, you can't be naive and believe everything you hear. You know how you make a correct decision for yourself? You listen to your intuition. You listen to your gut. And you ask the right questions to the place that you're considering trading with. Or get referrals from the prop firm to find out. Talk to people that have traded there. Okay? And at the end of the day, the decision is yours. You can't believe everything that's out there. You've got to listen to your gut. You do your due diligence. That's all that you can do. Some people want answers they're never going to get from me. Same thing with the prop firms. There are good places. There are good teachers. There are good mentors. There are good prop firms. It is possible to make money in the market. This goes back to what I was saying about having a certain right attitude. I always believed that I could make money in the market. I think... I think part of it had to do with the first, I think I told this story a long time ago in some webinar, the, the first week I ever traded, I made $5,000 in one trade. I, I knew it was possible after that. There was, there was nothing, there was nothing after that, and it was in a gap. There was, there was nothing that anyone, anyone could tell me that would ever change my thought processes after that. Now, I lost money after that because I didn't know what I was doing yet. It was the first week I traded, but I knew that it could be done. So... It, it, it really, your belief system has to match that it's possible to find good prop firms and good people to learn from and that you can do it. I can tell you right now, if you don't believe you can do it, you won't. And if you believe that you will, you have a chance. It's up to you. Will you do the work necessary? Will you follow the, the uh, dictum that I teach you, letter for letter, letter? Or will you make it up and not follow anything? I mean, I, I have a system for a reason. I took my look into the market myself and lost money until I figured this out. It took me three years. You do, you come to my, you know, class. You pay me for the information. You're in the room. Take the trades I take and don't take any others. Do what I say in the class and don't deviate. It's really not that difficult. Everyone wants to reinvent the wheel. Don't do that to yourself. There's no reason, okay? So you can learn how to trade and you can work from home. It's possible. Now, does anyone have any questions? Mike had the question about the prop firm. And again, I can refer you to a place if you want, Mike, or anyone else. Does anyone else have any other questions for me? How's everybody doing? If you would like a trial of the trading room, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. I'll give a, you a one-week trial. The class is this weekend, January 9th and 10th, from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. You cannot join the live training room unless you have taken the Golden Gap class. If you sign up for the class this week, though, and do the class this week, you will get the stock market class for free, which is next week. I'm only doing that one more time this year, so that's a nice incentive. And there, Kathy has my email in the room. Good questions, good participation from everyone. Again, you can get the picks using the rating system to use this for options only, 
or you can do it for options and day trading. You will learn in the class how to take the day trading entry positions. But it is based on institutional money. It is so powerful, people. It is so powerful that it makes it exciting. Because if you can get to the point where you are doing this extremely well, you can make millions of dollars in the market. I'm on my way. And quite frankly, the trades that I'm in, in the long-term market calls I have for the market may make me a million dollars in just those trades. We'll, we'll have to see. It's their long-term trades out though. All right. Have a great night, everyone. Email me if you have any questions. Thank you for coming. You're welcome. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you for your time and your participation.